Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is a special day because I'm going to feature a Squire guitar, something I don't usually do. Typically, Squire guitars are priced at a point that you can get an alternative for cheaper, so rarely do I look at them. But at under 120, this is a deal worth checking out. Let's take a closer look. The debut Stratocaster features the standard headstock with a matte neck, a laurel wood fingerboard, a matte finish, a three pickups, five-way switch, tremolo style bridge. Uh, just peeking through the back, the bridge is as small and as thin of a block as I've ever seen. I would be wary of it for sure. So all I've done is tune it up. That's it, tune it up, plugged it in. And I am pleasantly surprised at how it looks and performs out of the box. The action is great. The intonation is really, really close and it just sounds nice and it feels good. There are absolutely no sharp fret ends whatsoever. The tuners are smooth and they keep tuned well. I notice there's only one string tree instead of two, probably a little cost saving there. And of course the matte finish is also a cost saving for the manufacturer as well. I compared this to a Affinity model and the only real difference I can find is the finish. The Strat Affinity sounds to my ear identical and it wouldn't surprise me if the pickups in these are exactly the same. Let's just run through the different positions on the switches and take a listen. I'm playing through a Fender Frontman 15R that I modified using a large PA speaker as my guitar cabinet. Now, can you tell the difference? Affinity. To my ear, they sound identical. I cannot tell the difference. So I am pleasantly surprised, and it comes with free online lessons. I believe a 30 day trial period for some Fender lessons, which I'm gonna take advantage of, don't worry. Let's check it out. Okay, the E string didn't move. That's a bonus. So I'm gonna do what I always do and take this off and lose it. So there you go. The matte finish. Squire debut series. Actually, I really like looking at it. It is beautiful. I'll try to get some close-ups of that block in there. It's super tiny. And using it does make it go out of tune. As far as the actual setup goes, this thing is set up really nice. The nut is cut in nice. The action is really nice. Um, I don't think I'll try to change anything on that. I will have to intonate the A string and the E string. They're a little bit off, but that's it. Overall, a pretty good setup out of the box. Now, because it is a Squire, it comes with a two-year warranty. So that's something you usually don't get with a budget instrument, especially at this price point. So this is it. This is the uh, debut Stratocaster. This one's in red. Actually, I like it a whole lot more than I thought that I would. And to be honest with you, um, if you ask me between the Epiphone that I just got and this, I prefer this. The Epiphone was a few dollars more, even though it was a super sale. This is actually better playing, better sounding, feels better in the hand, has a very comfortable neck.
I like it a lot. I like it a lot more than I thought that I should. So there's going to be an affiliate link down in the description. If you're interested in checking out the debut Stratocaster from Squire, please use the link. It does help support the channel and it helps me bring more affordable gear to review for your viewing pleasure. So you can decide before you drop down your cabbage if it's worth the investment. This one gets an A+. Plus. Definitely worth the price they're asking. If you don't have a Stratocaster and you're looking for one and you kind of want to stay within the brand, then the Squire's the way to go. Check it out on Amazon. I believe that's the only place it's available. I want to thank you very much for tuning in today, for watching the video. Take care of yourself. Enjoy your affordable gear, your guitars, your amps, and your pedals. And we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.